I've been hearing about Edith's plan. How marvellous of her. If you ask me, it's absolutely crackers. But Cora seems pleased. What idea is this? Edith has taken in a motherless child and is giving her a home here. I should have thought an orphan rather an uncomfortable piece of baggage for an unmarried woman. You mean a man yes. might not want to take the child on? Well, I wouldn't. Rose, have you written to your mother about Mr. Aldrich? I have now. And will she approve? Don't be disappointing, Aunt Violet, please. I promise you we both know a difference in religion is a big thing. Quite right. How would you bring up any children, for example? Children? When did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking hypothetically. The fact is, most marriages that fail founder for precisely this kind of reason. An irreconcilable difference. Or maybe they just don't get on. No, I'd agree with Larry. It's usually more than that. Yeah, it might be different beliefs or different nationalities or a huge age gap. In the end, they cannot see eye to eye. I don't see what you're getting at. You mean to marry Mrs. Crawley here? Well, she seems very nice, and I wish you both every happiness. Thank you. But that doesn't prevent me from seeing that the wide disparity in class and background may prove your undoing. What did you say? Only that Mrs. Crawley, a decent middle-class woman with neither birth nor fortune, is expecting to fill our mother's shoes as one of the leaders of the county. Is she capable of it? Or will her inevitable failure prove a source of misery to them both? You know Mrs. Crawley's late son was my heir. What does that prove? Everyone has distant cousins who are fairly odd. How dare you? Will you go, Larry? I had to make excuses for your rudeness the last time you sat at this table. It is tiring to think I shall be called upon to do so again. I know the choice of in-laws is eccentric in this family. You already boast a chauffeur, and soon you can claim a Jew, but even so... Why don't you just get out, you bastard? And suddenly we've slipped into a foreign tongue. Well, if that is how you feel... I do not endorse Tom's language, but that is certainly how we all feel. Then, Lady Grantham. Goodbye, and thank you for a delightful evening. <laughs>